പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോഡ് ഹാല ലൂയ ഈ പുതിയ ദിവസത്തിൽ ദൈവം നമ്മൾ എത്രത്തോളം നടത്തിയത് ഓർത്ത് കർത്താവിന് നമുക്ക് സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യാം സങ്കീർത്തനം തൊണ്ണൂറ്റി ആറ് ഇങ്ങനെ തുടങ്ങുന്നത് എഹോവയ്ക്ക് ഒരു പുതിയ പാട്ട് പാടുവൻ സകല ഭൂവാസികളുമായുള്ള ഒരു എഹോവയ്ക്ക് പാടുവൻ അതെ നമുക്ക് പാടുവാൻ അനേക കാരണങ്ങളുണ്ട് നമ്മളെ ജീവനോടെ നിലനിർത്തിയതിന് നമ്മളെ പരിപാലിച്ചതിന് നമ്മളെ സൂക്ഷിച്ചതിന് ഇന്ന് വരെ നമ്മൾ നടത്തിയതിന് എത്രയോ പാടുവാൻ എത്ര പാടിയാലും മതിയാകില്ല ഇന്ന് ഈ പ്രഭാതത്തിൽ നമുക്ക് ഒരുമിച്ച് കർത്താവിനെ പാടി മഹിമപ്പെടുത്താം Yeah. 
കർത്താവെ അങ്ങയുടെ കൃപയാണല്ലോ ഞങ്ങളെ ഈ നിമിഷമരം നടത്തിയത് കൃപ കൃപ എന്ന അർത്ഥം കൊണ്ട് ഞങ്ങളുടെ സാന്നിധ്യത്തിലേക്ക് ഞങ്ങൾ ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടി ആ കൃപാസനത്തിൻ്റെ അടുക്കിലേക്ക് കടന്നു വരുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഏത് നിമിഷവും ഏത് നേരത്തും തക്ക സഹായത്തിനുള്ള സഹായം അങ്ങിൽ നിന്ന് വരുന്നുവല്ലോ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പിതാവിൻ്റെ അടുക്കൽ ശ്രേഷ്ഠ മഹാപുരോഹിതനായി അങ്ങുള്ളതിനായിട്ട് നന്ദി പറയുന്നു പ്രിയ യേശു കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളങ്ങേ വാഴ്ത്തുന്നു പ്രിയ പിതാവ് ഞങ്ങളങ്ങേ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു പരിശുദ്ധ്യാത്മാവാം ദൈവമേ അങ്ങ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂടെ ഉള്ളതിനായി ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങ് നന്ദി പറയുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ ബലഹീനതയിലും അങ്ങയുടെ കൃപ തികഞ്ഞു വരുന്നതിനായിട്ട് സ്തോത്രം യേശു എന്നാമതിൽ തന്നെ ആമേൻ നമുക്കിന്ന് തിരുവചനത്തിൽ നിന്ന് കേൾക്കാം Greetings to you in the matchless name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Psalms 57 verse 2 says, I cry out to God most high, to God who will fulfill his purpose for me. Yes, God is really interested in my spirituality. We know that what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. He would not have laid down his life if he is not interested in us. The Holy Bible shows us what immense care God has for his whole creation and especially for each one of us. He cares for us. He has a plan for us. He will never ever forsake us and he wants us to be in eternity with him. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light yes for sure he receive he is interested in us yes for sure he is interested in us but is my spirituality interesting to god is the god who tests our hearts are pleased by our spirituality is the god who tests our heart is pleased by our spirituality just as a toddler learning to walk my god would like to see me constantly progressing as i learn to walk with him he is eagerly waiting to see me walk run and conquer all the challenges that come my way of course He is there to guide me and strengthen me in all my life episodes till I transform enough to discern the will of God that is good, acceptable and perfect. Take a moment to think. After many years, are we still learning to walk? Are we not running yet? Is there any stumbling block that prevents us from going forward? Are we really progressing in Christ? The word spirituality has become increasingly common. In a Christian sense, it means living life under the influence of God's spirit. Christian spirituality is associated with following the teachings of Jesus Christ or trying to mature to attain the full stature of Christ. In New Testament, we call it the discipleship. God's purpose for each of us is a mystery. We have to eagerly and diligently walk along with him and he will reveal his purposes for us as we progress step by step certainly we have to ensure that every revelation we receive amounts up to soul transformation in our life if i am in the center of god's purpose for me i will not be continually living in sin i will always be excited and will mature in the nine flavored fruit of the holy spirit love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness and temperance people around me can very apparently see it in my life i will have happiness and contentment in whatever i do reading from the amplified version 1 timothy 6:6 enlightens us but godliness actually is a source of great gain when accompanied by contentment that contentment which comes from a sense of inner confidence based on the sufficiency of god i will not be running in search of things that gives me fulfillment may it be my job relationships hobbies or entertainment 
I should be in pursuit of ultimate joy and fulfillment. Only my God can give me. Whenever I am in a situation where things look like a standstill, I will get directions from my Father in heaven. He will teach me which direction to take. I have a task to do and direction to progress and the Holy Spirit will guide me on my path. If anyone is wandering away from the purpose God has for them, then the above mentioned points may not be true in their lives. They might be in an aimless wandering situation, flowing with the current like a dead fish. If you are alive, you will swim against the current. The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. Paul reminds us in Ephesians 5:10 to try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Arise, wake up, alter your choices, actions and plans to be found in the center of God's purpose for you. Having a purpose is important. But Israelites, even after having a goal of the promised land, wandered for 40 years. What will happen if you don't have a purpose yet? In Ephesians 2:10, the apostle Paul says, "We are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works." which God prepared in advance for us to do. God calls you to a purpose to do good works tailor made just for you and he gives you with all you need to accomplish that purpose. Romans 8:28 to 29. In all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose which is to be conformed to the likeness of his son. And if the Lord is pleased us with us he will bring us safely into the land and give it to us which is a rich land flowing with honey Numbers 14:8 And if the Lord is pleased with us he will bring us safely into the land and give it to us which is a rich land flowing with milk and honey Having a goal is not sufficient enough we need to please the goal giver How can I know his purpose for me? Go to God in prayer. As the psalmist says in Psalms 57:2, cry out to God most high, who will fulfill his purpose for each of us. If you feel purposeless, ask God to give you wisdom and direction. James 1:5 states, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach. it will be given him god wants us to give you a purpose he wants to bestow divine wisdom on you he desires you to have a joyful ambitious purposeful life ask god for purpose and expect him to give it to you dig into god's word for insight and knowledge this means that one of the first things you should do in your search for god's purpose is to start digging into the scripture now You may not find any verses that tell you to become a doctor or an engineer or a painter but you will begin to understand the heart of God. Psalms 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. God's word brings light to paths that otherwise seem dark. In the Bible you learn how to live wisely in God's world which is the first step toward finding your purpose. Determine your gifts and strengths God has given you very specific gifts and strengths maybe you are an expert in a computer a math wizard or a wise counselor maybe you have a mind for electronics or business maybe you are great at organizing people and getting things done God's purpose for you probably involves the things you are already good at find out what you are more passionate about What is one thing you are particularly passionate about? Really, this can be anything. Business, art or music. If money wasn't an issue, what would you love to do? Determining your passions often help you figure out what God has called you to do. He so often said that God works at the intersection of our gifts and our passions. Where do your gifts meet your passions? That may be God's purpose for you. Bring others into your life. Proverbs 11:14 says, 
without wise leadership the nation falls there is safety in having many advisors in other words one of the main ways god will help you find your purpose is through others like your godly teachers and leaders and pastors god can lead you to wise counselors to help you find god's purpose for you taking a solitude retreat matthew 6:6 6, 6 says but when you pray go away by yourself shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private then your father who sees everything will reward you sometimes it can be incredibly helpful to get away from all the noise around and take some unhurried time to think fast pray and journal even just a day away from the hustle and grind can be hugely rewarding trust god he will make your path straight as psalm 23 says he leads me beside still waters he restores my soul he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake philippians 2:13 for it is not your strength but it is a god who is effectively at work in you both to will and to work that is strengthening energizing and creating in you the longing and the ability to fulfill your purpose for his good pleasure may the lord help you to stay in the center of his purpose for you and to walk in a manner worthy of the lord fully pleasing to him bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of god